all right guys we are um we are live we are still experiencing ongoing connection issues for everybody that's curious about the uh, connection issues we've been having um there so there's an issue with a node uh, uh basically on the uh, the fiber infrastructure that's in our our, a our area near the studio um so it's not just us that are experiencing issues right now it's basically like a a, a, a four block chunk um uh, in and around where we're at uh, that's experiencing uh, issues right now um we we have a gig connection here that usually has really great upload speed but because of this issue with this node it's causing a a large amount of signal noise and uh which is basically tanking um our bit rate um and we're getting intermittent loss so we might lose this stream guys but uh i managed to uh i managed to kind of get it smoothed out i think a little bit however uh we definitely are gonna have to compromise i'm hoping they're actually uh at this moment continuing to fix um the issue so the uh the connection might actually go down at some point while while we're streaming um as they get everything fixed and back up and then we'll be uh we'll be back up how we were before um in 1080p 60 um just fine but uh, yeah, right now we're definitely coming through in a lower quality for you guys. Um, hopefully it's not uh, lagging for you guys. Yeah, basically we have no bit rate right now. Um, uh, you know, usually, you know, we're streaming up around 5,000 uh, bit rate, and right now we're probably getting uh, under a thousand. So um, yeah, definitely not optimal, guys. But I managed to to get it up at least so you could probably hear me without it buffering the whole time. Um, yeah, just let me know, guys, if it is, you know, coming in clear for you guys. Yeah, so it does look like, so I got it at least smoothed out so it's not going to buffer. However, we definitely are coming through at an extremely low bit rate. Um, I had to, I had to lower not only the audio bit rates, uh, way down, but we, I, I lowered basically everything to the floor, um, and, uh, so I'm hoping we'll only have to do this for a couple hours, then I can bump everything back up to 1080, so people will actually be able to see, um, but, uh, I'm, I'm waiting to hear back from, from the, uh, the technicians that are actually out there still right now, um, it's 10, it's 10.05 p.m., and they've, uh, they've been out there all day, um, currently trying to take care of this issue um i'm currently waiting on a call from them um to confirm that it's been uh, cleared up and our connection will probably be uh lost when that happens i would imagine but uh i don't i won't know um right now though it's looking like uh, it's pretty steady um looks like uh, we're getting some people flowing back in here as well So yeah, we're currently listening to uh, audio from Kiev again, uh, from the square, um, and uh, most of the cams, in fact all of the cams we have up on screen right now are out of Kiev as well as they were earlier, um, when we were, when we were, uh, boss says seems fine, go 1080, no, uh, I, uh, we are still um, getting that low, that low bit rate, so basically this, this, this signal noise issue that we're having, um, uh, in our area, basically, uh, it, it drops the bit rate out, you know, uh, intermittently, uh, every few seconds. So it'll spike up, you know, a little bit, but then it just it tanks right down, uh, right below. A, you know, it goes below a thousand bit rate. Um, in fact, right now, I think we're coming in probably just around a thousand um, bit rate. Usually, we're streaming right around five thousand. So definitely, we're um, definitely we're coming through at a pretty lower quality. But uh, I'm glad at least you guys can hear me now. Um, Yeah, again, yeah, um, you know, it might be a little bit blurrier, but, uh, you know, once our connection comes back up um, to full speed, we'll be able to go back to 1080, full 1080 at 60 frames. Um, but we're just going to we're just gonna ride with this for, for hopefully only a few hours here until we get that uh, back up and operational for you guys. Yep, again, for everybody that doesn't, uh, that, uh, that's just coming into this, uh, the, the stream, 
Um, uh, our, our fiber uh, connection here is uh, currently experiencing some, some issues. It has been for about 48 hours um, uh, due to a, a bad uh, node, they're saying, um, in, in the area. Um, that was probably due to weather or something, but they've been dealing with it all week from uh, what they've been telling uh, telling me. However, uh, we've only been experiencing issues uh, over probably the past 48 hours from it. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, usually we, we have a good and solid gig connection, uh, but right now uh, uh, our upload um, our upload bandwidth is basically nothing. Um, as I said, uh, it drops out. We're probably going under, under a 1,000 uh, bit rate at the moment. Uh, but we will be back up to full speed, uh, back up in 1080 in, in a couple hours here. So yeah, I'm getting uh, just like the latest updates here for you guys. Just uh, be patient. I was kind of um, making sure the stream was uh, all good. Um, for everybody that doesn't know, we are over on Twitch uh, again. Um, there's a link in the description below. Make sure to follow us uh, over there on Twitch. In case the stream goes down on YouTube, you can always find us over on um, on Twitch. Mick says if uh, Zielinski doesn't do a deal today, then it's going to get really nasty. Yeah, that's basically what the speculation is right now, is that if this deal falls through, they're probably going to resort to some more drastic measures uh, um, from the Russians there, possibly maybe uh, bombarding Kiev. Um, I know we've been on the edge of our seats for like, like the past three days, sitting here watching Kiev. Um, and the reason is because there's been this slow Russian advance on the city. And, uh, you know, there was... a. Uh, People were expecting that to go a lot quicker than it has. Uh, luckily, the Ukrainians have held out um, a lot longer um, than previously expected, so that's good. You know, they're putting up a hell of a fight against the Russians. Um, but uh, yeah, we've definitely been just kind of sit, sit, you know, sitting here glued to our screens watching Kiev for the past couple of days, and uh, I believe that. Um, uh, you know, we haven't seen very much bombardment. We have seen a little bit uh, of, uh, um, you know, missiles that have hit uh, some buildings there in Kiev and stuff. But uh, we, I don't think we've seen anything near uh, what we will see if uh, they do fully move on Kiev um, once amassing uh, these these forces here um, that we're seeing uh, kind of grouping up around the outskirts of the city. Yeah, so we talked about this on the show uh, recently. Um, uh, Free GOX says, uh, uh, says anyone smart enough to ask themselves why Russia is using the 90s Soviet-era uh, tanks at the moment? Um, yeah, so, yeah, we've been talking about that on the show uh, for a while about, um, about why they're using that old Soviet hardware and kind of how that plays into the whole situation. Um, kind of like this is that first uh, frontal assault. You know, they're trying to... Uh, basically, first they were trying to break through the front lines there in uh, the DPR, LPR, uh, you know, moving uh, the troops across the border, getting them actually in to uh, the territory in around uh, uh, Ukraine. And, um, and they're there to kind of soak up, this initial force is kind of there to soak up those uh, supplies of javelins um, and other systems that have been supplied by uh, uh, the U.S. and other countries. Um, Tactical assists are going to push hard for Kiev. Yeah, that's that's what it's looking like. Uh, we're going to see how these talks go today. So there's uh, some talks scheduled near uh, the Belarusian border, I believe. Um, I'll get some more concrete uh, information and reporting on that for you guys here shortly. Um, yeah, like NJ says, to use up the javelins. Yep, that's basically what this is all um, all about here, this first onslaught you guys are seeing here. Somebody said that they already have. Did they already have the talk? I don't believe they did yet, uh, but they, they probably are. I don't know exact the exact time frame on that. I'll get some information on that for you guys here quick. Somebody asked about the flight radar. I actually haven't taken a look at this in a uh, in a in about an hour or two here. Looks like uh, some commercial flights there. Yeah, it's pretty dead. Pretty dead in the airspace tonight. Um, 
but we're keeping an eye out. There's kind of like a lull uh, in activity right now, uh, waiting for these talks. Originally, I thought that maybe uh, tonight was going to be kind of a, a night that the Russians were going to push on the city because uh, we had heard all that speculation about them wanting to get things done before um, uh, before Monday. Uh, however, you know, it's still looking like uh, they're going to, you know, sit it out and, um, you know, continue to amass forces on the outskirts of Kiev while these talks take place. And then from there, the Russians will probably, uh, uh, you know, decide to make their move depending on where these talks go. I don't think these talks are really going to come uh, amount to anything because... Um, they're, they're, the Russians are basically just asking the, the Ukrainians to, uh, um, you know, put their weapons down. Um, and uh, Zelensky has made that clear that they're not going to do that. They're not going to surrender and concede to Russia. So uh, I don't believe that these peace talks are really going to uh, uh, um, come up with anything useful. Uh, I don't think they're going to come to any kind of resolution. Um, it, we kind of seen we kind of seen that trend over the past uh, few weeks here with a lot of these. Um, a lot of these diplomatic talks that we've been seeing. Again, for anybody uh, that's just tuning in, yep, we are still experiencing connection uh, connection issues. However, I've temp uh, I've temporarily um, uh, uh, been able to get the stream up for you guys here at a, a severely reduced quality. Uh, we're coming through at less than a thousand uh, bit rate right now, so uh, quite a quite a significant downgrade from what we're used to streaming at. Uh, for the 1080p 60 frames a second uh, but we're, we'll hopefully only have to deal with this for a few hours um, again guys getting the updates here out of uh, out of the last few hours together for you um, and we'll kind of take start to take a look at some things here shortly um, I'm gonna go back to the live UA map not not a lot going on on uh, on flight radar right now if anybody has any interesting flights to track though we'll definitely uh, look at those um, So uh, Desmo says at 9.50 a.m. Moscow time, their market opens. Might be cool to watch their stock market keep crashing if there is nothing going on at that time. Yeah, uh, if there isn't, we'll definitely take a look at the Russian markets and get that, get like a live chart up on the screen so we can watch that unfold. Uh, uh, Ozzy Ma uh, Mandias says, uh, uh, any hot mics up? Uh, if anybody knows of any hot mics up right now in and around Kiev, we can get those on screen. We'll take a look at those. Um, yeah, when we dropped out of the st uh, stream last, uh, last time, we were talking about the Chechnyans. We'll probably cover that again um, here in a little while. I don't know how much, uh, I don't know how much uh, information um, we've had on that situation over the past 12 hours or so, but I'm gonna, definitely going to get briefed on that here pretty quickly um, so I can kind of give you guys kind of report on that situation with the Chechnyans. Um, but uh, right now I'm kind of just going through the piles of stuff here. Uh, um, we're kind of focusing primarily on kind of the situation uh, geopolitically uh, with these talks that are going on uh, in Belarus. We're kind of going to kind of cover some of that. Um, I'm also going to go through uh, some of the other developments uh, around the outskirts of Kiev. And uh, um, we'll kind of talk about uh, some of the troop movements that we're seeing um, towards uh, the city. Uh, some people say uh, RCH-851. Roger that. I'll get RCH-851 on radar. Um, Going to take a look at that. RCH. What was that? Uh, RCH-851. Okay. We'll take a look at RCH-851. See what that's doing. Uh, so we got a... Uh, uh, okay. A C5M Super Galaxy. That's an interesting... Uh, we haven't seen many of these, so this is going towards the uh, United Kingdom. We'll keep that tracked for now, see where that's going, if that maybe comes into play. Uh, I don't see any destination data on that yet. Um, yeah, uh, somebody says, what an absolute bummer, poor timing for internet problems. Yeah, at the worst time. In fact, uh, uh, I, as I was uh, saying last night, um, we, we have you know usually uh, concrete connections here. Um, uh, as I said before, we we do have a gig connection here. 
Uh, and right now, the only thing that's really being affected is that uh, is that upload speed um, from that signal issue that's happening on those nodes in our area um, is causing a, a, a large amount of signal noise, which is uh, basically dropping out our bit rate as we're streaming. Um, at first the other night, we thought it was Restream because they were uh, reporting issues with their servers as well. Um, and uh, I believe they are still actually dealing with some uh, ongoing issues uh, with some of their Restream servers. So we actually have switched uh, um, what server we were using for Restream um, now. But uh, we are back up on Twitch uh, and um, YouTube as well. Um, somebody said, did they use the TOS one today? I don't believe they have yet, uh, but those could be getting in place to be used. So we'll have to, uh, look at that. Somebody says Homer 19 is up. Okay, we'll take a look at that. Um, so, yeah, airspace is looking a little bit more active than I initially uh, saw on the top flights there. Okay, so this is out of down by Greece again. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll keep it on this RC-135 and see where that goes. That could be heading up into the region. Uh, however, it is heading south right now, so we'll keep an eye on that. So he says, how informed are the Russians on how the war is going? Well, we could look into that uh, here shortly. Uh, we could take a look at uh, what the Russians are saying on uh, Russian state TV and what that what you know they're um, telling their people um, in the country. That could be an interesting thing. I also haven't taken a look at our, our buddy Patrick Lancaster in a few days, our Russian uh, blowhorn independent uh, news journalist out of the DPR and LPR, so we could possibly take a look at him as well. Uh, some other people sending some other uh, flights that they uh, think I should be taking a look at. Uh, we'll get those up on screen here shortly. Um, again, guys, just uh, stand by. I'm kind of getting some updates here. Uh, if you guys do have any updates to add to the pile, um, uh, we are trying to focus on things that are happening around Kiev, uh, uh, Odessa, and um, uh, Kharkiv, because those cities have had a, lar a large amount of uh, uh, developments today. Um, so Tommy says, why does the video not have the 1080 options? Because uh, right now we are in a severely reduced uh, quality state um, due to those ongoing line issues that uh, I have mentioned. Sorry, guys, if I'm sounding like a broken record, but just as more people come floating into the stream, we get people asking about uh, that. I'm going to need to you know, make sure everybody is uh, uh, concrete on that. Uh, maybe I'll pin a comment here in a second like I did earlier. Um, Somebody's saying, is Russia going to use nukes soon? Well, they have put their nuclear forces on a heightened alert state. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and watch that video here shortly. Um, that's been floating around a lot tonight, so most of you might have seen that already, but we'll play that uh, on the screen anyway because I believe it is important uh, to kind of talk a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, the Discord has a new link, guys, by the way. It's just discord.gg uh, slash Um So you can, just, uh, you can just type that in. You guys don't have to copy a link anymore. It's just discord.gg slash Nemico. Also, the Twitch is just twitch.tv uh, twitch slash Nemico Networks. So that's uh, um, also down in the description below. If this stream goes down, you guys can hop over to Twitch. Uh, Antisocial, yes, I am reading the Twitch chat. I am. Uh, I have both the YouTube chat, Twitch chat, and Discord chats simultaneously being monitored here. Um, Luke says, uh, what exactly does heightened alert mean? Uh, that means that their forces are in a, uh, a heightened readiness level. Uh, they have troops and possibly even hardware in place uh, to, you know, uh, to be put to use um, uh, quicker than usual. Um, you know, they could have things like uh, certain nu uh, nuclear missiles uh, uh, in place, uh, ready to fire, maybe quicker than they usually would. Um, they could, like, have things uh, already in emplacement. Um, uh, have things like on troops on, you know, on alert, ready to go to use those things. Um, it, 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 we don't really know, but that's just kind of speculation as to uh, what they what they mean by that. Um, yeah, basically, yeah. You, uh, 
uh, uh, Damon says that they're using the nukes to scare the public and provoke us. Yeah, it's, it's basically just a intimidation. They're trying to get concessions, um, uh, mostly out of Ukraine uh, and the West as well. Um, PK asks, which channel in the Discord do I watch info? Uh, it's the Situation Room is where we post just links. We don't do any chatting in the Situation Room. Uh, the Situation Room is where we put all that reporting and stuff. You can also PM stuff to me if you want me to uh, see it as well. Um, either either one works. Uh, somebody said, uh, D Drew says, how screwed are we? Um, well, uh, only time will tell. Um, things are definitely looking pretty grim. Uh, that is uh, for sure. See, so yeah, I heard people talking earlier about like a heightened DEFCON level. Uh, I've been watching uh, the DEFCON levels, uh, and I haven't seen uh, uh, too much in the in the way of uh, those being heightened from the levels they've been at for the the week uh, for the past week or so. Um, but uh, they are definitely higher than normal. Um, I believe we're in DEFCON three here in the United States. Currently, uh, Europe, I believe, is DEFCON two, if I'm not mistaken. That's been the same uh, for about a week or two now uh, since the situation started to unfold. Uh, somebody says, any updates on casualties? Yeah, actually, I do. Uh, stand by really quick. I'll get that pulled up. Um, so uh, uh, we're reading 4,300 personnel, uh, Russian personnel killed and wounded at this time. Uh, over 200 prisoners of war have been reported. 46 downed aircraft, 26 helicopters, 146 tanks. A lot of those are probably uh, different armored vehicle types. Actually, no, those are larger tanks. So 146 lo uh, larger tanks, um, uh, 60 um, cisterns, two drones, 706 uh, armored vehicles of different types, so like BTRs, stuff like that. Uh, one anti-aircraft uh, system, uh, a BUK, and uh, uh, 20 automotive equipment, 49 pieces of artillery, uh, four grad systems, 30 vehicles, and two vessels. Um, if you guys want to take a look at those numbers, uh, uh, I'll post um, the image of that in uh, the Discord. Uh, where will I put that here? I'll throw that in the situation. I know it's probably been posted uh, over the past couple hours, but I'll post that in the situation room if anybody wants to take a look at that. Um, and uh, I can also get it up on screen here for you guys as well. Yeah, um, yeah. Of course, U.S. DEFCON levels are not public information, but uh, there are a variety of um, independent watchdog organizations that do kind of keep an eye on a on basically the same list of criteria um, that the U.S. would use to calculate DEFCON level, um, and then they generate their own DEFCON level, which is. Uh, most of the time pretty consistent. You would imagine it's probably pretty consistent. However, you never know when there's a Russian nuclear sub off the coast of uh, Florida ready to nuke the East Coast because um, they I don't believe they would uh, disclose that information. Uh, if that was an immediate danger, that would cause a significant amount of uh, panic here in the States. Um, so that's always something to keep an eye. Uh, media reports a powerful explosion in Cherkasy, uh, uh, says Kamor. Thank you for that, Kamor. Uh, we'll take a look at that. Um, so uh, we're, we're continuing to get these uh, reports out of Nexta here, this uh, this tw Twitter account out of Ukraine. Okay, so that's definitely a bigger explosion. Um, not sure if that's thermobaric. That looked uh, that didn't really look like thermobaric, but um, that could have just been maybe like a munitions stockpile or something that got targeted. We'll have to take another look here. You definitely see the shockwave traveling away from it, though. It almost reminds me of the Beirut uh, explosion, just the shockwave how it flew out there. Yeah, that is a huge explosion. Uh, 
He had a pretty big explosion there. Um, okay, so that's uh, Tricassi. Let's try to see if we can pull that up on a live UA map. Where is... Tricassi. Another strike there. Um, so that was 3.50 p.m. Um, okay, I see. Alright, so, um, yeah, not uh, seen on the live UA map. I probably have to scroll back pretty far to find that one, but uh, I'm still going to try to f locate it here. Oh, here we go. Uh, geolocation of explosion outside uh, Pelicana and Tr uh, Tricassi. Tricassi, sorry, uh, Oblast in Ukraine. Let's watch um, that video here. So, yeah. Uh, this I believe this is the same video. Yeah, it is. So, that'd be interesting to find out uh, what type of explosion that was. Let's take a look. Uh, so, yeah, no other reports in the area around that location. So, that's interesting. Um, large rocket attack reported outside of Karkova in the uh, Kherson region of Ukraine. Uh, we had been watching Kherson closely uh, the other night. Let's take a look at that footage real quick. So it looks to be a grad rocket fire there, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh... That's interesting there. Um, by the way, to everybody over in the Discord, I love all of the memes you guys have been sending me and producing over there. Um, I've been saving every single one of them. Thank you guys uh, for those. Yeah, so Honey says uh, over in the Twitch chat says the talk is going to go sideways. Uh, he's been hearing. Yeah, um, I, I was – so the reason I'm speculating it's not going to go well is because the Russia is basically just going to uh, ask that they lay down their arms and concede to Russia, and I don't think that's going to happen. And Zelensky's made that clear that he doesn't want um, – he doesn't want uh, to do that, so – Somebody said that was uh, possibly thermal barricading ammunition stockpile. Yeah, we'll have to keep a, an eye on uh, reporting um, from that large explosion. Um, somebody says, "Where's the where's the Russian tank convoy in the north?" Yeah, we've seen satellite images uh, from from Maxar. Of those tanks amassing to the north of the city of Kiev. Um, we had those earlier. If somebody wants to send me over those Maxar images. I know one of you guys has them. If not, I'll try to locate them here myself. But if somebody can give me those Maxar images of the tank movements uh, uh, to the north of Kiev. Uh, we had those on screen earlier uh, last night. Um, but yeah, that definitely would be some uh, some interesting information to get up for you guys here. Uh, so some other people saying it was a fuel depot. Yeah, I believe that was a separate incident lost. Now, we don't have any concrete uh, reporting if it was... Uh, somebody says it wasn't an ammo dump. I have seen those explode. Yeah, it, it looks more like when an ammo dump explodes, it almost looks like a bunch of fireworks going off. You got, you know, a bunch of uh, smaller explosions happening. That was one very large uh, singular explosion. Uh, yeah, somebody says it was most likely the chemical plant. Yeah, that could be. As I said, that almost looked reminiscent of the Beirut explosion. Uh, so it could be maybe some uh, explosive chemicals or some volatile. Yeah, some kind of volatile chemicals maybe it would have could have you know combusted. Uh, maybe possibly been uh, accidentally targeted or purposely targeted. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on uh, the developments from that large explosion overnight. And we'll kind of get an idea probably over the next uh, 12 hours here of really what that was. Yeah, somebody's saying uh, it was three kilometers long, the column. Yeah, I would like to get the satellite images up here for you guys. Uh, we'll get those on screen. And you guys can see um, what I'm talking about with that uh, that troop buildup that's going on outside of Kiev. Um, somebody says, I saw that Belarus military has no combat experience. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't necessarily believe that's true. Um... I, I think there's probably some guys, some older guys that might have even have some Chechen war experience, um, that are that are probably fighting. Uh, but uh, yeah, somebody explained earlier to me, you know, that the Chechen military is kind of uh, made up of different kind of uh, uh, 
uh, one would say tribes almost, kind of different, uh, different groups, battle groups, and uh, one united to uh, attack um, Ukraine. Um, or to fight with the Ukrainians, I mean. Um, sorry, guys, reading some stuff here. Give me a second. Um... So he said, yeah, it, d it did look like Brew Root. Yeah, it was that kind of that cloudy shockwave coming off it that kind of gave me that, uh, kind of gave me that thought it looked like uh, the Beirut explosion. Somebody says it calls to mind a uh, West Texas chemical plant explosion. Yes, I believe I remember seeing uh, a, a, a documentary on that, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that blast was also pretty big as well. Somebody said the live UA map has been hacked. Yeah, we'll look into that as well. Um, it's still, at the moment, for me, is at least showing uh, some some accurate information in and around Kiev. However, uh, I'll, I'll look into that if maybe somebody wants to send me some reporting on that. Uh, I can get that up on screen for you guys. We'll take a look at the live UA map. Yeah, there has been a lot of false information going around, guys. Uh, there's been, over the past uh, 12 to 24 hours, I've seen a large influx in fake cameras, fake streams, um, uh, fake uh, multi-streams even, kind of like ours here, uh, uh, coming out of, um, uh, kind of coming out from Russia and uh, 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 Europe as well, um, just packed full of misinformation. Uh, for the first couple days I was doing this, you know, people, you'd get the occasional person asking about looped cams and stuff. But now it's like there is actually looped cams, and there's lots of them. Uh, they're all over. In fact, just to get the cams on screen for you guys here, I had to, like, you know, spend probably an hour uh, going through and vetting cams and looking for cameras. All of the original CCTV cameras that I had up for you guys earlier this week when we first started streaming, you know, seven plus days ago now, uh, all of those are, are down now. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah, keeping uh, those fake cams off the stream has been a battle. I mean, some of you that might have tuned in yesterday know, uh, you know, we would get some sent over to us. I'd put them up on stream, and then, you know, I'd get 12 people in the chat sound off. You know, this one is old, or, you know, and that's what you guys are here for, is to keep an eye on those timestamps for me. Make sure that, you know, to help make sure uh, uh, that these cameras are current and to help me geolocate stuff as well. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it, it takes, it does take a lot of effort um, so definitely, you know, uh, uh, bear with me, guys, as we, you know, uh, make sure to get verified uh, sources and stuff for you guys here. And, and again, as I'm reading you guys off these Twitter uh, posts and these these rip this reporting, um, I try to include, you know, the words uh, possibly unconfirmed. Okay, um, it, every time I show you something, all right? Because keep that in mind. Uh, again, we are experiencing the fog of war, and. Uh, uh, um, that's the reason uh, we're getting all of this uh, conflicting uh, reporting out of the region. So just keep that in mind there. Um, uh, stand by, guys, here. Uh, I'm, I'm just getting a couple things ready for you. Um, we're currently watching the sun come up over Kiev here. Um, there was actually at one point a report in the night that said that... Um, the possibility that uh, around 5 a.m. Belarus would be looking to load up paratroopers on planes, possibly to send them into Ukraine. Um, yeah, we're still waiting to hear kind of like the situation, not only of the diplomatic talks out of Belarus, but of the possibility of Bel uh, Belarus forces maybe even being sent in and getting in on the, uh, the combat um, in Ukraine. Um, there's also some speculation going around that we could see some other... Um, uh, some other uh, air raids uh, tonight in Kiev. However, it's been a pretty calm night um, in and around Kiev. There's been the occasional shot ring out. You hear the occasional explosion. Um, however, it has been, for the most part, pretty you know quiet uh, comparative to uh, other nights. Um,
Somebody, ca somebody says, can you stop saying, uh, um, yeah, sorry guys, uh, as, uh, as I, re you know, bring you these reports here, um, I do have to, uh, uh, give brief pauses, um, in between to, uh, catch up. Uh, I, I have definitely not gotten, uh, an abundance of sleep over the past, uh, week here, so I'm, uh, I'm working on a, a, a tank half full, um, so to speak. Uh, somebody says the DEF CON website now says uh, uh, US at uh, DEF CON 2. Um, maybe I will uh, look at that here. Get the DEF CON level up on screen for you guys. I'll just take a look at it here. So yeah, DEF CON level in the US is currently uh, has been raised to uh, DEF CON 2. As you can see here, guys, this is for the United States. Um, keep in mind, this is not the official DEF CON level, as that information isn't uh, publicly available. However, uh, the same uh, principles that are used to calculate, um, the same variables that are used to calculate the DEF CON level um, are used to uh, calculate and estimate uh, this DEF CON level as well. So it's pretty, uh, I would say it's pretty an, a pretty accurate assessment um, to what you probably see um, uh out of you know US uh, defense um, let's go and look at uh, Europe as well because there so there are still in DEFCON 2 they have been for some time uh, it definitely is uh, okay so it says oh wait that's Middle East um, we want we want the United States actually here it says Northcom so here it says Nor Northern Command is actually at four uh, what was that giving me that f so this is just an overall level, I guess. This is just a a general level. So USA uh, is currently at DEFCON 4. So actually not that um, not that uh, of a heightened state, not that much of a heightened state. But uh, the um, so the overall DEFCON level has been heightened. Let's take a look at the cyber. So cyber DEFCON level currently estimated to be around three. Um, yeah, Europe still at two. Middle East at three. Africa at three. Uh, Asia is at four. Okay, so that's interesting. Yeah, keep an eye on that. In fact, we could take a look at some of these alerts, actually. Um, we'll go Europe. So, overall, DEFCON level moved uh, to two. Russian President Vladimir Putin has now ordered Russia's nuclear deterrent forces on alert in response to Western sanctions and rising tensions over Putin's invasion of Ukraine. So, yeah, that's uh, what we were speaking about earlier. Um, again, you guys can check out this information at DEFCONlevel.com um, if you guys want to take a look at that for yourself. Somebody says DEFCON 4 sounds more accurate. Yeah, for us, um, I would probably say um, that's true. Uh, for people in and around Ukraine and maybe Eastern Europe, there could be a heightened, um, a heightened sense of urgency there. Somebody said, uh, do we see refueling tankers all turned off their transponders finally? Uh, no, I'll take a look at that here on the flight radar shortly. Um... Somebody said that the fiber get fixed again for everybody that's tuning in. Uh, we are still experiencing the ongoing connection issues, so the stream might be a little bit uh, at a, a lesser quality than normal. Um, however, those uh, techs are still looking to get the uh, the connection restored uh, to where it once was, and uh, we will uh, be back up at 1080p HD for you guys in 60 frames uh, as soon as possible. Somebody says, why are you streaming to two platforms when your internet sucks? I'm actually just streaming to one platform, Restream, and then Restream uh, does the heavy lifting of taking that uh, and uh, broadcasting that out. 8-Bit Dan, thank you very much for tuning in again. Glad to see you're uh, tuning in back into the stream. 
Thank you very much for following the uh, Twitch account. Uh, Beef Ninja says, uh, Nemeco Network, don't forget to hydrate. Yeah, I actually don't have anything to drink right now. I should probably go grab something. Uh, sorry, guys, again, I'm just getting these updates here for you. Um, we're just going to go and start just blasting stuff off uh, one one update at a time. Uh, everything that's, I'm gonna just going to go over everything that's happened over the past uh, 6 to 12 hours here. Somebody says, uh, does it matter that we're uh, not at 1080p? Well, yeah, for some people that are really uh, wanting to take a look at these cams up close and people that want to read the text on screen, um, it, the higher the resolution, the better. Um, yeah, again, some people asking about the Elon Musk thing. Uh, so, yeah, he is sending, looking to send Starlink infrastructure to the country. Um, in order to assist the Ukrainians in keeping their uh, uh, connections online. Um, uh, and they're also looking at sending the... Uh, so they, they're looking at getting the satellites in place, but separately they're looking at getting the hardware uh, that you need for the, you know, for the ground stations um, sent into Kiev, things like the modems and the satellite dish that you need. Um, has there been any news out of Odessa? Yeah, we're going to take a, a look at three places, okay? Uh, Odessa, Kharkiv, and Kiev. Those are the three, um, those are the three big ones, uh, today. So he said, uh, do you think Elon will send cyber trucks to Ukraine? No, but he's definitely sending Starlink, which is a very, uh, large, um, uh, a, a amount of assistance to the Ukrainians. Keeping that connection live is very important for them. So he says, Nemeco, you're the GOAT. Uh, thank you for that. Um, so yeah, I, I also heard some reports of them taking the traffic... Uh, the traffic um, reporting off of Google Maps. We'll take a look at that as well because I, I find that interesting that they decided to do that. Um, yeah, all of the updates you guys are sending me right now, thank you for those. I'll get those on screen here. We're going to start blasting them off one at a time here in a second, going over everything that's basically happened over the past uh, 6 to 12 hours here. Uh, as I said a minute ago, it has been a quieter night in Kiev. Uh, just the occasional shots and explosions ringing out. Not as um, not as intense as the past few nights, and I feel like, uh, again, uh, we're kind of seeing just this uh, pause in conflict while they build up uh, forces on the outskirts uh, of the city, and while this talk takes place... Um, Somebody says, funny how the U.S. government doesn't have control over Starlink system. Uh, they probably have uh, utilized uh, those services at one point in time. Uh, it's possible. However, I'm not sure on that. Yeah, Starlink is definitely privately owned, but it is, it is possible that uh, the government has utilized Starlink uh, infrastructure at one time um, for operations. That could be possible. Um more likely, though, they probably have their own communication infrastructure in place. Yeah, some people saying they're only seeing 720p. Again, that's uh, due to the ongoing uh, uh, internet issues that we're having, uh, which we were speaking about earlier. Um, those are being fixed uh, right now. We should be back up at full resolution soon. Uh, okay, guys, so I'm about to go over these updates here um, in around Kiev. Uh, just stand by. Give me a couple of minutes here, um, and we'll start going through those.
Uh, somebody said, do you think they'll televise the talks? I don't think so, but I could be wrong on that. But I believe it's going to be kind of a... Uh, it's going to be a pretty tense meeting on the Belarusian border, so... Um, we'll have to see what comes of that, but I don't think they'll be televising that. Um, it's a, it's an ongoing war zone. Um, anything could happen at these talks. Uh, um, but we'll see. Uh, what Does anybody know what time those talks are supposed to take place? Anybody have any uh, any information on that? Somebody said they said no media. Okay. Somebody says it just sounds like a potential ambush to me. Yeah. Yeah, I thought kind of the same thing. Maybe like a, a Red Wedding sort of scenario. Eight forty. Somebody says, "Okay, we'll take a look. Uh, we'll take a look at that." If anybody has any confirmed reporting on the time, I, somebody says they. I thought they announced like eight thirty. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on that. So a lot of people talking about uh, um, the amount of uh, air traffic going into Belarus tonight. Um, possibly that they're looking, that they're possibly moving troops around, um, or uh, that there's some resources, a heightened level of resources moving into Belarus. Um, that could be indicative of uh, this decision that uh, is floating around of them possibly sending in uh, uh, Belarusian forces into. Um, into Ukraine. So I have to keep an eye on that. So I heard something about uh, aircraft being supplied to uh, to Ukraine. Is that U.S. aircraft or what country... Okay, so here we have some air raid sirens occurring um, right on time for dawn. Um, while those are ongoing, I'll, I'll shut up and then we will uh, we'll start the updates right after that. So I don't have to talk over the sirens.
So for everybody uh, that's just tuning in, this is sounds coming from Kiev of our uh, our usual every morning air raid siren, which could be indicative of an airstrike, but uh, isn't always uh, indicative of an airstrike. It could just be that they are. Sorry, it could just be that they are uh, playing those air raid sirens to keep people in that heightened sense of alertness, um, to you know basically let people know that at any moment an airstrike could come, that you need to stay in shelter. Um, yeah, imagine trying to sleep right now at uh, 5.53 a.m. and just constantly having to hear this. Yeah, uh, we also heard reports of the 48-hour uh, curfew ending today in Kiev. Uh, that will most likely be extended. I don't imagine that they will lift that with the ongoing situation as it is. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see on that. All right. So, uh, Sixty sends me another camera angle here, and he said that, uh, just now he did confirm that it has the sirens, um, so that it is current. I'll take a look at that now. Okay, um, so this is another angle. What's this angle here? Is that the, uh, yeah, so I believe this is the hydroelectric station. So we'll replace. We'll, we're gonna replace that with this camera here, um, because yeah, we need one in Kiev for that slot. Not we don't want that one out by Crimea. Okay, here we go. So we got that one there. That's another camera in Kiev, and it has current audio. I'll turn that down just a little bit to take the edge off. Um, so to everybody that is okay uh, asking about ban appeals, we just today uh, unbanned basically everybody that was asking for an, an appeal, people that might have been accidentally removed. Uh, yeah, just to keep in mind, you guys have to follow the rules. There is a rules channel with those listed. Um, some of those intel channels we're trying to keep just to verifying or uh, just to, uh, sorry, like links to reporting um, and different things like that. So uh, we're trying to keep... Uh, certain um, types of chat and uh, certain types of dialogue out of those uh, uh, out of those channels. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, but yes, yeah, some of those bans, uh, some of those ban appeals were granted today. So uh, if you were banned um, uh, over the past, you know, uh, week or so, you've probably been unbanned by now, unless unless you uh, were proven to have a serious offense, in which um, you probably weren't part of that but uh discord link yep discord.gg slash nemico we have a new discord link there so if you guys would like to come and share intel uh, if you guys have any posts you want to send over to the show to get on the air uh you can join us uh over there and we can uh, do that everybody's welcome to join it's free um if you don't know what discord is it's just basically a uh, community um a uh, basically a social media community uh platform um, originally meant for gamers, but it's been, you know, all sorts of crowds use it. It's a great platform. We've been using it since 2015 over there in the Hive. Um, so we're glad to have anybody and everybody that's willing to come over and contribute to the community. Um, uh, somebody says, can we uh, fix the spelling on the first cam? Yeah, sorry about that. I meant to do that earlier and just uh, forgot. Uh, I knew somebody was going to ask about that eventually, too. Oh, come on. All right, there we go. So there we go. I fixed that for you. 
Yep, updates, updates, updates. We're getting to it. We're getting to it. Um, yeah, to everybody that's uh, giving me the, sh uh, the, sh the shot shrapnel shout outs. Thank you for that. Um, thank you for those shot shrapnels. Uh, it's nice to see that we have some OG viewers in the in the chat. There is our six o'clock chimes, guys, just on time. Coming from both of our audio feeds, and that is confirmed. They are synced up perfectly. Um, Somebody said Cam4 is Nova. Um, yeah, let me look at that really quick because I think that might be actually. Is that uh, this one? Yeah, uh, hold on. Let me, um, let me take a look into that real quick. Uh, I'm just going to get a... Um, confirmation on that and then I'll change that over yeah it is Nova you're right thank you for that uh, thank you for that tip there I will change that in fact that makes sense because we did have a Nova cam from last night so that's obviously one of the ones that got left over I'll just put that up here uh, Nova so now we have a so as you guys see we have a new stream layout here now so if you guys want to give me call outs for cams you can just say like cam 1 cam 2 cam 3 cam 4 People were doing that before, but when I had like a sporadic layout all over the place, it was kind of impossible to understand what people were talking, like, you know, which camera they were referring to. Um, uh, Nemico Smoke, right side cam one. Roger that. See? See how easy it was for that call out? Thank you for that. And look at that. We do indeed have some smoke off in the distance there. It looks like a, quite a significant amount, actually. Uh, not sure if that's a smokestack or not, or if that's coming from. Uh, a fire of some kind. Uh, kind of hard to see. I, I feel like this cam looks a lot better today. That cam looks great today. All right, so I got to get you guys an actual uh, uh, cam here. A cam cam. A cam cam cam. Uh, let me see here. Sorry, one one second, guys. Stand by. Stand by. I forgot, I forgot uh, that layout was in the way. God, just let me... Um Here we go. Okay, now you guys can see that camera there, and uh, on the right side here, we see this smoke. Um, it looks like I see some smokestacks there, so that could be a factory, or this could be fires that we are seeing there, and I'm just thinking maybe that they look like smokestacks, because it is off in the distance away, so it could just be, uh, you know, kind of funky looking. Uh, I also see some smoke here. Yeah, that's definitely some smoke here I'm seeing. Uh, coming from not too far away. Uh, yeah, not sure maybe if this is that depot, uh, fire still burning or smoldering, uh, or if they put that out yet. We'll have to take a look at the, um, particulate maps. We will get the particulate maps up on screen for us to look at here shortly. Um, because I would definitely, yeah, somebody says it definitely looks like a smokestack. Um, if somebody wants to geolocate and maybe see if we do have some factory smokestacks over there, uh, we can get the confirmation on that. Um, let's get a look at the particulate map. Um, if somebody wants to send me over the particulate map, I don't believe I have it on hand. I'll look in the o uh, open source intelligence tools first. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so I don't really want to sp you know, spoil all your guys' PMs, so I'll just kind of look through the uh, tools channel real quick, see if I can find that particulate map. Uh... That's the imagery. That's not what I needed. Um, here we go. We got it right here, guys. Okay, thank you. Um, thanks to whoever posted this. Roberto posted this in the open source intelligence tools. Thank you for that. Um, so let's scroll in here on um, Kiev. 
Uh, very high particulate there, actually. Uh, so there must be a fire burning over there as well. Oh, yeah, we gotta... That's right, we gotta manually... Gotta manually do it now. Okay, so I believe those fires uh, that were burning yesterday were to the north. So there is some areas here with heightened levels. I mean, it is a city, so keep that in mind, but... I mean, some of these are probably from sporadic fires burning. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's uh, unlikely at all, uh, given the circumstances. Um, yeah, it, it could be smokestacks. Somebody's saying that could be the power plant. Yeah. If somebody wants to give me some uh, geolocation, I can throw that on screen here so we can look look exactly where it is. Yeah, it does look like steam uh, because look how it, it, it fades off here. If it was smoky, it would be carrying. Yeah, so I think that probably puts it to rest there. There's probably a power plant. We're seeing steam being generated here. So that's good that we put that one to rest. I also saw some what looked to be smoke coming from over here. Uh, I don't know if I'm... Maybe that's just camera artifacting or not, but... Again, guys, this is that cam out of Kiev. Looks really good. We have two lines of audio out of there this morning as well, so... Again, you know, just, uh... Keeping a close eye on Kiev, because that's really... That's the final, uh... It's the final boss, really, um... The, for the Russians, is, is getting into Kiev. Um... Uh, and sack in Kiev. Uh, once Kiev is taken, and they take out Zelensky, um, that's I mean that's game over. That's and so holding Kiev is the probably the most important. All right, let's get that camp fixed. We're hearing some other explosions and shots here on the outskirts of the city, as we have all night, just sporadic. Seeing more of that smoke there, actually. Whatever, not important. We'll keep uh, we'll keep going through updates. So yeah, here um, is those particular maps again. If you guys want to look at those, you can find that in the open source intelligence tools section on the Discord. Again, thank you for uh, everybody that's tuning in. Uh, again, um, we are still continuing to have these connection issues, so the stream might be coming through at a uh, lowered quality uh, currently, but we are uh, working to get that mitigated as soon as possible. Um, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button. The like button will help... Uh, uh, get the stream back up in the uh, algorithm so we can get um, uh, some more uh, eyes in here on the situation um, get some more some more minds exchange uh, exchanging some uh, uh, data somebody said uh, did I build INDB uh, yeah I did work on that project it's an ongoing project um, currently the, the site is actually um, uh, being worked on uh, but I do hope to include some of the features we've been working on for INDB uh, in on the stream soon. Uh, we'll be using some of those tools uh, for open source intelligence gathering. Somebody said airstrikes just happened. Uh, okay, we'll get uh, we'll get an, an eye on that. Um, Somebody says there is smoke coming up to the right of that steeple after an airstrike. So yes, I am seeing smoke there. Let's go back to that cam quick, guys, and uh, I'll show you. Alright, here we go here. So, right here there is smoke coming up. Uh, I'm having quite a few people telling me that there was... Um, okay, so Pineapple says uh, the Cherkassi uh, explosion is very conflicted. Many have happened a couple, may have happened a couple days ago, may have happened tonight, cannot verify either way. Okay, thank you for that. UA Maps has changed its reporting. Uh, I believe it is Ukrainian propaganda though, not hostile disinformation. Uh, smokestacks, can definitely see smokestacks underneath the smoke shots. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on the UA situation by the, guy, uh, by the way guys. Uh, I'm going to take a further look into that. Apparently there's been some people saying uh, uh, that uh, some reporting um, variables on UA have been changed, so I'm going to take a look at that. Um, smokestacks can definitely see smokestacks underneath the smoke, says Pineapple. Um, I believe it's steam on the vent does not linger. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, again, guys, uh, so having a couple people tell me that there was just an airstrike here, 
Um, or possibly something occurred over here, and that's why we're seeing that smoke coming from that camera there. Somebody said chimney smoke? Uh, yeah, uh, I doubt it. Could be. I, I don't think they are burning a fire inside the church right now. I mean, that could be possible, guys. Um, but we'll keep an eye on it here, nonetheless. Uh, this footage here, uh, a lot of people were showing this over the course of the night here. Uh, let's go get cut back over here to the full thing, full situation room. All right, I'm going to uh, pull this up on screen. So this is a, a, some footage of some farmers stealing some Russian hardware. Um, <laughs> just some interesting uh, footage there. I wouldn't put it past um, the Ukrainian farmers. Uh, I don't know what it is about Ukrainians and Russians, but they really like uh, to hoard uh, scrap metal. Um, I, I, ha I have, personally, I have some Russian friends, and they all love going scrap metal picking. That's like their thing, is picking scrap metal. Um, I, I've also heard of some uh, a few uh, Ukrainians that do the same, so it seems pretty popular over there. Um, Okay, so like, yeah, a lot of footage of the, a lot of footage of the POWs coming out. Um, we did show some of that on stream. I'll probably show uh, some other, uh, some other videos of those. A lot of these are ones we've already showed quite a bit. Um, so here, uh, I am God on the Discord sent over a couple pictures here uh, from a couple, couple of those monitoring sites. He said, uh, he said, this is weird. Um, so it looks like this, I'm not sure if it's the same monitoring site. Yes, it is. So this same monitoring site, this one here went from 2.57, uh, Monday, 3 p.m. Uh... to hazardous a couple minutes later. So that was probably, what we're seeing there, guys, is probably explosions and fires, uh, which are increasing that smoke particulate level. Um, so yeah, definitely a useful tool, uh, keeping an eye on those particulate maps for tracking and verifying uh, reports of explosions in and around Ukraine. Um, Pineapple says he rewound the camera on the suspected smoke. Uh, starts without anything happening. Is coming from the roof of the next building over. Furnace stove of some kind uh, or some kind of exhaust, he suspects. So um, thank you for that, Pineapple. So, yeah, some people are saying that the live UA map has been hacked to remove all Ukrainian victories. And pretty much any blue icon just links to air raid sirens went off. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm going to look into that because um, I, I, know, I know yesterday we were getting, uh, we were getting you know, concrete stuff out of live UA map. But um, yeah, I think it was only a matter of time before some of these tools that we were using, guys, started to get targeted. Uh, just like the, we saw our CCTV cameras begin to get targeted. Um... Uh, somebody says Pineapple is definitely a spy. Possibly. Possibly. He could be KGB. Uh, turn up the cam audio. There's been a battle going on since daybreak. Pretty consistent gunfire. Roger that. I'm going to increase that uh, audio. Uh, okay, that's that one. Let's not... Uh, in fact, actually, let's close out of that. Wait. No, let's not close out of that. Let's go back to that. But let's mute it. Make sure it's live. Okay. Um, no, it's not that one. Not that one. Uh, it's this one, I believe. Okay. I bumped up that audio. We got both of those audios. So, uh, you guys should be able to start to hear uh, the, the consistent gunfire. There's a battle going on sporadically in the uh, uh, outskirts of the, of the town. I'm sorry, of the city of Kiev. Pineapple says, what a compliment. <laughs> Uh, 
So, just some random bursts of Twitter reporting coming here from you guys, un unconfirmed. Victory and defeat are the results of war, not a warrior, even if he loses. The president of Ukraine will be known in history as the man of his country who fought on the ground level against a superpower. Yeah, I mean, you guys got to, I mean, you got to respect that. I mean, uh, he's somebody that doesn't have, I mean, he was a comedian, doesn't have that much political experience. He's been, you know, a lot of people have been ripping on him, uh, you know, for not uh, having very much experience running running a country. But, uh, you know, one thing you, you got to respect is that he is uh, sticking it out with the Ukrainians, with the Ukrainian people and going down with the ship, so to speak. Um, uh, and, you know, seeing pictures like this of him in the gear, in the trenches. I mean, have we seen very many pictures of Putin in, in gear, in the trenches? I'm just saying. I mean, I, I don't doubt that Putin would, he'd probably jump right in these trenches first chance, but I haven't seen any pictures of him in any trenches. Somebody says, uh, show me battle footage of him. Yeah, honestly, th if there's one thing that would uh, solidify uh, um my a good opinion of Zelensky would be if uh, all of a sudden we get some combat footage of him, you know, uh, maybe in a MiG-29. What if it turns out he's the ghost above Kiev? Wouldn't that just be a plot twist? He's the ghost of Kiev? Somebody says, I've seen more, or 8-Bit Dan says, I've seen more pictures of Putin shirtless than in combat gear. Yeah, I agree. Ride, he likes to uh, ride uh, grizzly bears. Um, so he says Putin is 70 years old. No way. He Really? Is Putin 70 already? There's no way he's that old. So he said Putin Putin would be riding Hank the Tank. Yeah, uh, again, uh, we're just passing uh, 6,400 viewers here. Thank you guys for tuning back in to the stream. It's great to see everybody tuning back in. Hit that like button. Share the stream if you can so we can just get some more people uh, in here on the, st on the stream. Uh, people are saying he's 68. 68, 69. Nice. Yeah, I mean, uh, he, he definitely looks pretty youthful for his age. I didn't even know he was that old, uh, honestly. Um yeah, 1952. So I guess, yeah, he has been around for a bit. Um, all right, moving on here. Um, let me just get some of these other tabs closed out. Got our UA map there. Uh, no call sign heading toward Ukraine on flight radar. Is this just now? Oh, it is. Thank you for this, Farmer Jake. Uh, apparently, there's a no call sign headed towards Ukraine out of Russia. Uh, we'll go ahead. We'll get this tracked on radar real quick. We'll take a look at that. That could be... It's probably going to Belarus, I would suspect. It's probably going to divert up to Belarus if, if, um, if I were to guess. We can only tell. Actually, no, it's turned around here. And he says Moldova has something too now as well. All right, we'll keep an eye on this one. I'm going to get that one tracked. Um, is this the same one? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. I, it might be taking off still. Sometimes we see some uh, transponder issues. Somebody said, can you add this cam? Uh, okay, I'll take a look. I will take a look and see if it's worthwhile. If it's worthwhile, we'll put it up. Okay, so... I mean, this looks like it would be a good cam. Uh, however, where is it? Where is this cam? Kiev camera nearby St. Michael's Golden Dome Monastery. Uh, if this cam is legit, this is probably one of the best Skyline cams we've had out of uh, Kiev this entire week. In fact, um, what I will do with this is I'm going to um, I'm going to swap uh, what what is our Nova Cam, and we're going to put the Oblinsky District down here, and I will rename that to um, Kiev. Just give me one moment, uh, and then I'm going to put this one over here because if that camera is legit, 
Um, that one is probably one of the best angles we've had out of Kiev. It does look consistent with uh, the lighting angle and uh, Raven activity. Um, so that's good. Also, yeah. Okay, so give me one second here, guys. Um, uh, I'm going to rename that. This cam here. Back to Kiev. Oh. There we go. Okay, so this is probably the best... This is probably the best uh, angle setup that we've had for Kiev so far. We got the the primary cam there for the uh, for the square. We got a secondary cam for the square uh, on Cam Three. We got this skyline skyline cam here. We also have Cam Five, which is another skyline cam, and then we have the Oblinsky district down here as well. So we have a hell of a fix on Kiev this morning, guys. I'm I'm feeling pretty confident about it. Hot mic guys are silent. Uh, hot mic guys are non-existent. Uh, hot, hot mic guys are not on screen right now. If only we had the square cam. Uh, these are the square cams, man. Uh, these, are the, these are the best cams I think we've had so far, actually. That square cam doesn't show too much compared with this. Uh, these cams are pointed in the right directions, and that's what we want. Somebody said that explosion vibrated the camera. Yeah, uh, maybe, possibly. Somebody says we need eyes on Odessa. We'll take a, some look at some videos out of Odessa as those come in. I know there's been a lot of uh, uh, activity um, in that region. Uh, same with Kharkiv. So those are the two, uh, th the three areas we're going to focus today on the most are Kiev, Kharkiv, and Odessa. That'll probably be the same over the next 24 hours or so. Uh, somebody says smoke column to the left in camera one. Roger. Let's take a look. Uh, I'm not seeing any smoke. Oh, yeah, maybe over here. Yeah, that seems like off in the distance. Yeah, uh, hold on. Hold on. We will switch back. Switch back to the cameras here. Okay, so if you guys look off in the distance here, it does look like there is a column of smoke coming up. However, that could be another smokestack over there. So keep that in mind. We do have the smokestacks over here on the right side. But that could be some smoke coming up, maybe. Somebody said Ruble is uh, down 48% against the dollar. Yeah, let's. Uh, maybe we should get a chart on screen.